in progress. Hello, everybody. So in this video, we are taking a look at music and specifically a music video, uh, The Hook by Blues Traveler. And we are using that to do some analysis. Uh, basically, this is, again, practice for that essay that you're doing. Um, one thing you could do is a music video. And it combines elements of literature and film and music. And we haven't talked about literature or film yet. We will in the upcoming weeks. But you should know at least a little bit about film and literature because you've had English classes for the literature part. And I'm, I'm going to guess everybody's watched movies. So there's at least a little bit there. Um, and I won't hold you to the expectation of knowing all the terms necessarily, but that should be, you know, you should have at least some idea. So here's how this works. Excuse me. Um, first, make sure you have watched the music video. In fact, I would recommend watching it twice or, you know, first time through, just listen to the song and don't. Don't even pay att much attention to the, the video. Don't read the lyrics first. Just listen to the song and see what stands out to you. And admittedly, a lot of it's going to be gibberish. That's the way with a lot of music, the, you know, musical lyrics the first time you hear them. It takes a few listens to, to start putting the words together. Um, but see what phrases stand out to you or what you can interpret and or what, what you can make intelligent the first playthrough. Because, at least to me, those standout moments where they're clear, those are things that are probably important. Um, so what phrases stand out to you from the first listen through? Then watch it again, watch the video part, and see if you can come up with an idea. What is this about? Um, so when you analyze music, well, to start with, uh, remember the music elements that we talked about in the previous PowerPoint, things like melody, tone, Affect, what emotion, that's a big one. What emotion does it make you feel? What emotion does this video make you feel or this, this song? My guess first off is gonna be confusion, right? It's, it's confusing, it's muddled. It's hard to tell what the hell they're saying. That might be the point or that might be part of the point. That might be intentional. So keep that in mind. What emotions does this song make you feel? Because especially with music, emotion is a big part of it. Um, on the technical end, what about the rhythm or the tempo, you know, the speed of things? This song goes from slow lyrics at the beginning to that fast part. And if you look at the lyric sheet that I posted, uh, where it starts here, suck it in, suck it in, suck it in. If you're rented in or ramble in, make a desperate move or else you'll win and then begin to see what the, yeesh. This entire section is really fast. And okay, what is that doing? What, how does that change what you're hearing? And I would suggest it adds to the confusion. It makes it seem rapid. It makes it seem fast paced. You can see the mimic of that in the video where it, uh, let's see, that's the musical break where he starts like flipping through the channels and getting all sorts of random stuff. And I'm just kind of skipping forward. Um, yeah, starts like getting bits of cartoon and bits of talk show and bits of weather and all sorts of things to make it seem confused and muddled. Okay, so the first thing you look at is, especially for a music video, is the music part, that tempo change, that uh, kind of slow um, melody at the beginning, things like that. Then you look at the lyrics. That's the literature part. Um, you know, what, what are the lyrics saying? It doesn't matter what I say, so long as I sing with inflection that makes you feel I'll convey some inner truth or vast reflection. But I've said nothing so far, and I can keep it up for as long as it takes. I have said nothing, but as long as I sing with inflection, you'll come back. Your resolve will break because the hook brings you back. This is one of my favorites. There is something amiss. I am being insincere. In fact, I don't mean any of this. Still, my confession draws you near. To confuse the issue, I refer 
to familiar heroes from long ago. No matter how much Peter loved her, what made the pan refuse to grow was that the hook brings you back. He's telling you, I am lying. I am lying to you and making things up to make it seem like I'm saying something. Um, like with Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Or like with Rin Tin Tin and Anne Boleyn and MTV and all this stuff. It's all a lie. It's all made up. It's all meant to confuse you and to get your attention. To make it seem like I'm being sincere. That's what the song is saying. Or at least that's, yeah, that's what the song is saying. Um, and I love the fact that it's saying, it's telling you what it's doing. It's telling you I am being insincere. To confuse the issue, I refer to familiar heroes like everything that follows. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so that's the literary element. So first you look at the music itself. Then you look at the lyrics. Then you look at, if you're doing a music video, the video part. And what does it have? It has, it starts with a beauty pad. A guy watching TV is the framing device, presumably late night TV. And he turns to a beauty pageant. And what do you think of when you think beauty pageants? What associations do you have? Well, it's not just a beauty pageant. It's a beauty pageant during the question and answer period, right? Because you have the guy there with the microphone asking him questions. And if you've ever watched one of these things, the questions are insipid. It's like, you know, how would you solve world hunger in 15 seconds? Well, I would feed everybody, you know, and, and it's, some of it's making fun of the women competing, but to be fair to them, there's, how are you going to solve world hunger in in a 15 second response? That's with no prep time. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's farcical, but it's a bunch of empty, meaningless speech, right? You, it sounds like it's saying something, but it's not. Um, when you get to the part, there is something amiss. I am being insincere. It's cuts to a politician, a political speech, a political speech, you know, we're, which, what associations do you have with politicians? Again, a lot of empty nonsense, a lot of meaningless, empty, hot air. It sounds like it's saying something, but really it's just trying to confuse you and get your attention. And then it cuts at the, the final verse to, you know, that confused television aspect, but also, uh, this guy. And this guy is a parody of Paul Schaefer. There he is, who was the band guy on David Letterman for many, many years. I'm guessing you know who he is because he was Mercury and Mercury was very clearly a parody of him. You know, he played the piano, bald, all that stuff. Um, if you haven't, if you don't know who this is, go watch Disney's Hercules. It's good. Has nothing to do with Hercules. It's terrible mythology, but a very good movie and great music. Hey, yeah, there's the music connection. Music. Uh, in specific, blues and gospel. Gospel music, heavy gospel influence, which was just great. Um, back to the point. So in the visual aspect, you get a lot of repetition of those icons of meaningless confusion of a talk show host who says nothing and just kind of dribbles and mindless entertainment uh, of the politician speaking hot air of the beauty pageant contestants saying meaningless trite phrases that just sound good. And all of this combines with the lyrics and with those rapid cuts that cause confusion at, but combined with the slow melody that draws you in, um, add up to this element of confusion and emptiness that seems like it's saying something. So ironically, this is criticizing things that say nothing but look impressive by saying nothing and looking impressive. Um, so you see where you combine those elements and you can look at, so you can look at things like for these papers, you can look at things like the emotive aspects. You know, each emotion can be a different thing you've talked about. I know for the essays, I instructed you to do like three points 
you know, I've, I've done enough rhetoric classes and writing classes that I'm okay if all three of your points are, say, emotional things. You know, this music creates this emotion. Well, it creates this emotional effect using, say, video cuts and associations with empty-headed politicians and can, uh, lyrics that explicitly state stuff. Or you could look at things like the tempo of the music or the jump cuts in the editing, um, all these sorts of things. You have a lot to choose from, especially with something like a music video or even just basic music that combines lyrics and musical elements. There's a lot to work with. So hopefully this has given you some ideas about how to uh, analyze music. Hopefully you found the song enjoyable once you knew what the hell was going on. Uh, email me or come to my office hours if you have any questions i will be happy to help you and i look forward to reading your essays take care <laughs>